Historical videos are incredibly popular on YouTube right now, but bringing a historical event to life in a way that's engaging, accurate, and visually impressive can feel like a huge challenge. The good news? AI has made content creation easier than ever. In this video, we'll take you step-by-step step through the process of using AI tools to create a compelling historical video, from research and image creation to editing. Along the way, we'll show you a real example in action, and please watch until the end of this video to see a short example. We will be giving you both technical tips as well as creative tips as we go. Let's get into it. Before we can even start to think about a topic or begin to write a script, let's first look at what makes a great historical video. Let's ask ChatGPT, what makes a great historical video for YouTube? Here are six tips. Number one, compelling storytelling. Create a hook early. Start with an intriguing question, dramatic event, or surprising fact. Follow a narrative structure with a clear beginning, middle, and end. Make an emotional connection. Highlight personal stories or consequences of historical events to create empathy. Number two, accuracy and credibility. Use reputable sources and verify information. Make sure to balance perspectives and present multiple viewpoints when needed. Number three, engaging visuals. Use historical photos, newspaper clippings, and video clips. Again, for this, we will be generating everything with AI. Also, maps and infographics can add visual explanations that help clarify events, battles, and timelines. Number four, high quality audio. A well-crafted soundtrack including clear narration, authentic sound effects, and appropriate background music enhances the storytelling experience and ensures the audience remains engaged. Number five, editing and pacing. Use smooth cuts, zoom-ins, and transitions. Avoid dead air and keep the video flowing with continuous visuals and narration. Use captions to emphasize certain ideas. Number six, unique angle and originality. Try to find a lesser known stories or cover events that aren't widely discussed. Also offer fresh perspectives on well-known history. These are all fantastic ideas to keep your story moving forward. For this video, we'll keep things simple while guiding you through each step. Along the way, we'll also share additional tips to enhance your storytelling and application process. After exploring the key elements that make a great historical video, take some time to conduct thorough research on YouTube. Watch a variety of historical videos from different creators to analyze their storytelling techniques, visual presentation, pacing, and overall effectiveness. Next up, let's use ChatGPT to help find us an idea for our historical video. We'll ask, please create a list of the top 10 historical events between 1950 and 2000. Let's focus on the moon landing, but add more specific details to make the story truly captivating for the audience. Again, we will ask ChatGPT to please take this topic and create a list of five compelling angles to this story. Then we copy and paste the moon landing section. If none of these resonate with you, ask ChatGPT to generate more options until you find a story that excites you. For this video, we'll go with the race to the moon. So to finish off this section, we will need to create the full narration. We can simply do this by asking ChatGPT to create a full story with a compelling introduction and conclusion about the following historical event. Then again, just paste in the idea from the last prompt. Once the full script is written, take a moment to review and refine it. Adjust it to match your style, ensuring it flows smoothly and sounds more engaging. Next, it's time to generate the narration using Eleven Labs. Start by clicking on Text to Speech, then select your preferred voice. Finally, copy and paste your script into the Text to Speech input area and click Generate Speech. Here's a quick tip with Eleven Labs. It's better to just copy and paste smaller sections and generate one at a time and not the full script. We find you will get better results this way. You can also adjust the speed, stability, similarity, and style exaggeration to get the results you want. If you like our content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell when we drop a new video. Next, we will begin to create the images and videos, but before we do, we will use ChatGPT to help create the text prompts that we will then use to create the images. We will take our script and break it into sections and ask ChatGPT to generate a highly detailed text prompt for an AI image generator based on the following idea. Then from your script, 
take each section or sentence and paste it in. Again, you will have to experiment to get the correct text prompt you want before you start creating the images. Now we will do the same for the rest of the script, and we will speed up the process for this video. Now let's start creating images. We will use Leonardo.ai to create the images and Runway and Kling to animate some of these images. All these platforms allow you to create some images and videos for free. But if you are planning to create a lot of these types of historical videos, we suggest upgrading to paid subscriptions to be able to produce more. So in Leonardo, we will simply copy and paste the text prompts we received from ChatGPT to create the images. Make sure to set the image dimensions to 16 by nine and medium, and let's keep the number of images at four. Again, let's speed up this process for the sake of this video. If you'd like to animate any of these images, we recommend using Runway or Kling. In Runway, start by clicking Start a Session and then drag and drop your image into the workspace. Below the image, you can add a description of the animation you want to create and click Generate. Keep in mind that the results may vary and you might not always get the exact animation you envisioned. However, we encourage experimenting as you may discover some exciting and unexpected results. And finally, let's look at editing. It can be a time-consuming process, but the more you practice, the better you'll become. When it comes to software, CapCut is a great free option that's user-friendly. But for this session, we'll be using Premiere Pro. Don't worry, we'll keep it simple for you. The best way to start is by assembling the voiceover in order. Once that's set, we'll move on to adding all the visuals we've gathered, including images and video clips. So when editing with still photos, there is an effect called the Ken Burns effect. It is a technique used to add movement to still images by slowly zooming in or out and panning across the frame. This creates a dynamic and engaging visual effect, commonly seen in documentaries. In Premiere Pro, you can achieve this effect using keyframes, which allow you to animate properties like position and scale over time. To apply the Ken Burns effect, start by selecting your image and opening the Effect Controls panel. Next, locate the scale and position properties, then click the stopwatch icon next to each one to enable keyframing. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip and set the initial scale and position values. Then, move the playhead to the end of the clip and adjust these values to create the desired zoom and pan effect. Premiere Pro will automatically animate the transition between the keyframes. By using this simple technique, you can bring still images to life and make your videos more visually engaging. We're almost done. Now it's time to add some music and maybe a few background sounds to enhance the experience. Here's a quick music tip. You can easily find free music for your videos in the YouTube audio library. Just head to YouTube Studio audio library located in the left sidebar. There, you'll have access to a wide selection of copyright free music and sound effects all cleared for use in your videos. And if you're creating historical content, try searching for documentary to discover a great variety of music suited to that style. Once you've completed your final mix, you're ready to go. However, before publishing, take the time to watch your video a few times or share it with a friend for feedback. And most importantly, double check that all the information is historically accurate. Finally, here's a short example of the video we created. Enjoy making your own historical videos and thanks for watching. On October 4, 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, the first artificial satellite sparking a fierce rivalry with the United States. This event marked the beginning of the space race, a competition between the superpowers that would shape global politics, science, and national pride for decades. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets made another major achievement. Yuri Gagarin became the first human in space, cementing Soviet dominance but the U.S. wasn't far behind. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy set a bold goal to land a man on the moon before the decade's end. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. This mission inspired a massive push in American innovation and funding. The U.S. reached this goal on July 20th, 1969, when Apollo 11 astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon. That's one small step for man. 
Armstrong's famous words symbolize not only a technological triumph, but a victory in the Cold War rivalry. 